All right, y'all, the moment is here. I'm about to drop the car off, get some work done. I got a few things that I need to do to the car before I head to Gap Fest. Yes, 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 Gap Fest it is. Um, tell me what y'all think, man. I posted a video earlier about the wrap, man. I, think, I, I didn't think the color was gonna hit the way it's hitting right now. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, do y'all like that color? Like, is that shit mean or what? Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that shit hit hard. I think it I, I, I think it hits a little different. I think it hits a little different. But no man, um I'm about to drop it off. We're about to get another little touch to this car. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Next video I'm gonna post after this one. I want to tell y'all exactly the area where the work is being done, and I want y'all to tell me exactly what it is. If y'all rock with me and y'all been tuned in with me, let me know. Also Keep in mind, on my Instagram, I did a giveaway. I did a cash giveaway. Me and Slime Hack underscore 392, we did a cash giveaway. She matched everything that I was giving away. So let's say an example for those who may be a little confused. If I gave away $50, she matched it, that means that person got $100. Stay in tune with me, follow me on IG. If you don't follow me on IG, you sleep right now. You sleep, you sleep, you sleep. But I am dropping the car off. That thing there is about to get some work done to it. Yes, I'm excited. Um, this will probably be the longest I've been without the car since I bought the car. And man, I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to test shit up. I'm ready to get active. I'm ready. To, I'm really on my bully. I'm about to be on my bully shit with this car game, man. Watch, watch. I'm about to really be on my bully shit. Each mod that I get mm, makes me. Mm. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, but yeah, man, just one last look at it before it go in the shop and it come out. There's nothing wrong with it. It's running good. It's not broke or anything like that. We're doing stuff that's going to make it look better, feel better, perform better. So give it one last, one last little look. Damn. <clears throat> Look at this thing, man. Oh, you see those street, like I said before, street radios, man. Always ready for smoke. You pull up on me, you getting smoke. Ain't no if, ands, and buts about it. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here, man. Come on, man, one of the first with this car. Everybody else, shh, quiet. Came after me. That was a cocky flex right there. I normally don't do that, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So again, um, I'm waiting for my guy Dana to pull up. I don't know where the hell he at. <laughs> I'm kind of locked out. Yeah, he's not even here. His truck is normally outside. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. At this moment in time, let me turn this car off, matter of fact, because I'm out here running this car like, like there isn't a gas shortage. Like there isn't a shortage in gas. Oh, man. Man, this car is so sexy. Gotta love it, gotta love it, but it ain't the only one. I got another car, so once I dropped this car off and dropping my other car off after I picked this one up. That one's getting work done on it too. Um, I got a lot of good stuff coming, man. I got a lot of good stuff. I got a lot of giveaways coming. A lot of giveaways. Let me turn this around. Man, I got a lot of giveaways coming y'all way. Tap in with me, man. Trust me. I'm not one of those that sit here. Hold on. Focus a little off. Not one of those that sit here and say things and don't follow up with it. Tap in with me, tap in. If you're watching this video, like, comment, subscribe. I actually, and I'm gonna drop a secret, man. I wasn't gonna say nothing. A few people reached out to me about the whole car buying process. And, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, I agreed to go out with them. I agreed to go out, I would charge normally. Normally I charge, but you know what? 
I'm going to go out. They seem like some really good, genuine people. Got some videos of that coming soon, too, where they say that their dealership is really trying to take advantage of them and they need a little bit of help. So I'm going to definitely go up, go out there with them. Um, not going to drop the location or who they are, but I'm going to go out there with them. I'm going to make sure that we get the best deal for them as possible. We're going to record it all, and then I'm going to drop the video, and y'all going to see them in their new ride gonna see them in a new ride but that's that's who I am that's the type of person I am I just want to give back I want to put everybody on I want everybody to succeed I want everybody to understand that there's always a different way of getting shit man there's always a different way of getting shit I want to find the things in life for the cheapest price always remember that man and y'all should adopt that motto too once you start understanding that man you're gonna look for ways to save money you're gonna look for ways to get things for cheap and stuff like that so yeah I'm standing in a circle, man. I'm standing in a circle. I mean, I, I just want to drop this call. <laughs> um, but nah, man. All jokes aside, man. It just is what it is. Um, y'all got questions like y'all always have been doing. Flooding me up in uh, IG. Trying my best to get to all of y'all's uh, question. Just a lot of comments and DMs coming in. But bear with me. I'm getting to you. I know I didn't know so many people in the market to buy a car. Like y'all are in the market, market. Like tap that other video I just dropped. I dropped another video of how to buy a used car. I gave steps and checkpoints of a checklist that you put it in your checklist and things that you should do before you go out and you buy the car. You know, make sure you understand why they do the things they do. Understand why they shady, and then they're really not that shady once you understand the game. Put yourself on game, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bells on, man. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. If you know somebody needs help, share this video. Send it to them. Hey, buddy out here, man. New, used, whatever. People need to know that they have power. They have power in buying. Buying power. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. But enough of that. I talk about that enough in the other videos. Back to the car. I'm dropping the car off. I know y'all want to know what's going on. And I don't know where the hell my dude is to fucking take the cars out of the shop. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. There he is, the man of the hour. Where'd you ride at? Oh, they coming. Oh. Hey, he ain't even say, how you doing? The first thing he says is, where's your ride? Gee. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you, sir. Um... Is this lowered? Yeah. Yeah, it's lowered. I just uh finished getting putting the stripes on yesterday last night, man. I think. I noticed that. Huh? Yeah. What made you go green? I it just felt like a I don't know, I was looking for colors that would match, the contrast would go with it. And I felt like that was just it. It went. Okay. Hey, it does. I'm just asking what made you go green. Yeah. Did you pull your spoiler up to um, put it down? Yep. Oh, wow. You went all out. I pulled the spoiler up. I took the antenna off. I even took parts of the car up that I didn't need to to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you painting on? What you painting in here? See what he got going on in here, yo. Nothing. Should make my job easy. Now I'm painting some wheels that was, that was going up for King Tech. Got you. So did you take that top layer off? You don't need to. See how this works. Why do you have to lift it up? Because you're supposed to put it on different areas of the car and if you don't lift it up, it'll say that you didn't measure right. See? Mm-hmm. Measure checks. 
Hmm. Measurement error detected. Yeah. What does that mean? I'm trying to figure out what it. Calculating average data from remaining measurements. Hmm. Let's see what we got. It's, it goes to the computer? Yeah. Man, you can sit in here and get high. Or pass out. Let's see. So that's what your chip looks like, and that's the closest reading that it got to it. What's the difference? Well, if you adjust the light, you can see that there's a slight difference. But to the naked eye, you probably can. let see, once you start to adjust the light a little bit. What's the difference, though? I think my chip is a little bit lighter than the original. See, it's a little lighter, mm -hmm. more yellow, got a gold tint. Mm -hmm. That does not, and that's the original. But the naked eye won't see that, right? No, especially since it's at the wheel and the structure in the middle of the car is because you have so much other stuff that's breaking it up. So I'll mix up a little bit of that and we'll see what it looks like. All right, let's do it. All right, you go record me doing this. I remember how to do this. Oh, with the real? Yeah, I do. Come on. Huh? I'm about to mix the paint. Let's get it. Boo! The only part about that is you were never accurate. I was never accurate. Lies. How can I not be accurate in the machines telling me what to put in there? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Do I hit okay? Yes. See, normally it pops up up here, but it's telling me here too. No, no. Hit mix. Then up in the top center, it'll say okay. All right. SPL05. You know this? Where that SPL05 at? Down here. It ain't much in here. Ain't nothing in here. There's another gallon back there, but I think you got enough of that. Turn the can up right. Let me show you. Like this? Yeah, let me show you. Oh, well, you might be right. It might be empty. Because I try to use every bit of it. I don't. <laughs> okay. I try to use every bit of it. These things are $500 a gallon. And you probably get a good return on investment. I'm just saying. I don't waste any. There's nothing in there. It is. It just got to come to the thing. He said, I don't waste any. That might be enough to do the whole job, right? Yeah, hopefully. See, you're gonna throw this can away. Put my nothing in there. For this small sample job? No, I actually mix it up 14 ounces. Because I think if we get a sample close, I can tent to get closer. It'd be great if it's all in here. Hmm? I said it'd be great if it's all in here. 14 ounces. I'm at 14 grand. Come on now. 
Don't stop on us now. Oh man, that's so close. If you get one of those things and pull it down more, push it down, you might be able to get a chunk. You see what I'm saying? Like get one of those little... Yeah, squeakies? Yeah. I'm gonna let it sit like that for a second, let it drip. Because I got another one. I'm gonna get another shaker. What shaker? Out here. Well, let's go see. Shaker? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's air powered. You couldn't. So you couldn't mix it yourself by shaking it. Well, you can shake it enough because the pigments and the um, resin separate. Gotcha. So you shake it to get the pigments. To you gotta. You gotta apply air. Yeah. You gotta really shake them hard to get it to. To the point where you're going crazy, huh? Yeah. You know, move the radio back here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we're we'll that just for a second. We're we'll gonna go check the. Uh... This guy's trying to save every dime he can. He's gonna try squeegeeing that out. So in the paint shop, I guess this is where the magic is made. Uh, this is how you blend and get things a specific color. And we can make it work. Yes, it is. Watch. We calculate. Awesome. Yeah. Here, let me get the next stuff. Okay. What's that? At 33, I just seen it. Second shell. First can. I don't need to mix it, right? No, it's already been mixed. In fact, I should turn it away for a minute. I wouldn't do that. 
Huh? I wouldn't do that. Close it, turn it up, and then crack it really easy. Yeah, you had it open. Like turn it, no, turn it up like you're pouring and then crack it really easy. Yeah. You can turn it up some more. Down. Right there. And that might be almost empty too. Oh. No? It's not. I thought it was empty. I might have changed it already. Is that back screen on? Yeah. Yes, I'm recording how you messing this mix up. <laughs> you wish. Don't edit it out. Don't what? Don't try to edit it out either. Oh, no. Nah, this is all live. I'm not editing nothing out. Oh, so it's live right now? No, not right now. Yeah. 95. Come here. Come here. I used to know what these things were. Pull that off the end of it.
What does the reducer do? It makes it thin so it can spray out of a gun. Got you. But we don't want to make it thin because we want to match the color. See if we got a match. Yeah. Because when it thin, it won't stay on the stick long enough to check the color. Got you. So, I can grab color on. so we're trying to match this color this is the wrap that I have in the car with the stripes we're trying to match it with the paint we're trying to do a paint match pull this up right there We have a match. You have to look at it really quick before the metallic start to move. You see it? Mm-hmm. I think that's a match. Okay. That's all it is. So we got a match. So you get to save that? Yeah. What I mean is like the setting in the, in the computer. It's already in the computer. Got you. When I scanned it for the camera, it's already in the computer. Jeez, that was easy. Really? Yeah, that's come on man. Okay. Hey man, this is you hey. I noticed somebody said something the other day on YouTube. It's a humble flex. You are a humble flexer. <laughs> That's what it, this guy here is a humble flexer. This is what he does. <laughs> That's gonna be more than enough? Yeah, that's gonna be double what it is now. Double? Yeah. Sheesh! What? And I'm not even gonna put it off the this way. Sheesh! That's crazy. What could you use the rest of it for? Huh? What else could, would you be able to use the rest of it for? Just throw it out? Uh, well, give it a couple days, it's gonna harden up anyway, but I may use it for something. Once it hardens up, can you reuse it? No, once it hardens up, it's done. I'll tell you. This is what happens when paint starts to harden up. The resin separates from the pigment. That's why I had to put it on the uh, shaker, but look at it. Oh. Um. But if you shake that back up, would you bring it back? No. Because all that pigment is stuck down there. See how, how yeah. the resin See, look. Yeah, I see it. It should pour out, and it's not pouring out. Yeah. So. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, that's a good color match right there. So once you once you put it on, how long do I need to wait? Like what, a, once I paint it? Yeah. I'm not painting until tomorrow, but um well, if I if you prep them at night, I may just spray them early in the morning. Then by tomorrow afternoon you probably can come So down. once you prep them, could I put the deep, could I come back and put a vinyl on there? Because I want to put a vinyl on the top of the paint. Well, shoot, you, oh, you don't want to put it under the clear coat? What do you mean? Like, put... The paint, vinyl under the clear coat? Yeah, put paint down, put the vinyl on top of the paint, then clear coat over the bulk of them. Nah, you got to put it on top of it. It's fine. Okay. You think it's going to look weird? Well, I always clear over them. It makes it more durable. Yeah. Because if it messes up, right, I can always just put another, pe another yeah, one over it. Yeah, you can peel it off and put it over it, but if you clear it, you have to sand it down and paint it again. Right, so I'll just, okay. yeah, I'll just do it on the top of it. Yep, that's it. Hey, that's nice, man. This is nice.
Hey man, DW Customs. This is Dana. <laughs> hey Dana, do you follow my my YouTube channel? I do not. You need to subscribe. Okay. You are going to be featured in his next video. Hey man, if you're in the Raleigh, Durham, Sanford area, Fayetteville area, surrounding areas, come to my guy Dana. He will get you taken care of. I'll put his information, his location, um, phone number if you need to contact him if you're in this area. I know a lot of my subscribers are in this area. When y'all see how this turns out, you're going to be like, damn. That thing sounds good. Shit's still slow. I'll blow the doors off of it. I know I will. Yeah, I will. That ain't my problem. We go to the track, I'm gone. Anyway, back to what I would, uh, this way, ma'am. Excuse me, <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> so what we doing here is, y'all seen we did the color match. We're gonna paint the calibers that same green as the wrap. Um, again, point the camera at Dana. Shout out to Dana at DW Customs for hooking me up. I got my hands dirty a little bit to kind of speed up the process. Tomorrow, if not tomorrow, maybe the day after, we'll see what it looks like. And hopefully it'll turn out to be a blessing, you know, and it'll match. So what color uh, are you going to make the lettering? The letters? Yeah. Uh, I might do an orange. Yeah, if you can match the letters on the... Uh, yeah, I might do an orange. Car. Yeah, I might do like an orange because this is like a cinnamon stick color. So if I can get something close to like cinnamon stick orange. Mm -hmm. But not only that, I when I write them out, I can do a color match myself on a computer. Oh. So I can play with the different shades of orange okay. on it. Okay. So yeah, I'll be able to get that. Work too. Huh? Burnt orange? Yeah. yeah. So there it is. Here, come closer, man. Let's look at this. I don't know. I can show what I did. So I sprayed it with some degreaser. I sprayed it and I hit it with a scrubbing pad to kind of take all of the gloss or strip it of all of chemicals and any kind of waxes and stuff like that that will prevent the paint from sticking to it. Strip it down. You want it to look kind of matte-ish color looking. That lets you know that that's gone and it's ready to be painted. And once I paint it, I'm going to come back with the decals. The decals is going to be fire. Y'all gonna see it. It's gonna be crazy. Stay tuned.